Hey folks, just a little quick announcement. Uh, I got a reading here from uh, the Daily News, New York Daily News, and uh, here's what's happening. The Republican-controlled House of Representatives voted for massive spending cuts Saturday, slashing six, uh, $60 billion from the budget and setting up a potential showdown with President Obama. Fulfilling a GOP campaign promise to shrink the size of federal of the federal government, the House voted 235 to 189 to slice domestic product projects, foreign assistance, and even military programs. Good. The vote held before dawn sets up a possible standoff with the Democrat-run Senate and the White House, which could lead to a shutdown of the federal government in March. Let them shut down. They can't do us any harm, none. For the first time in many years, the People's House was allowed to work its will, and the result was one of the largest spending cuts in American history, uh, crowed House Speaker John Boner. We will not stop here in our effort, efforts to cut spending, said Boner in a statement released after the vote. Not when we're broke and Washington's spending binge, binge is making it harder to create jobs. Exactly right. All 186 votes against the bill, while just three Republicans opposed it. The bill, though sure to set off a political firestorm, stands little chance of passing in its current form. Democrat leaders in the Senate have said they will fight the cuts in the $1.2 trillion spending bill while the White House has sent signals that it will veto the plan. Well, government shuts down, you can blame the president. The current pl spending plan expires March 4th and there is little time to work out a deal because Congress is in recess next week. If a new proposal is not placed by next month's deadline, the government will shut down for the first time since 1995. The Republicans approved a ban on money for both Obama's sweeping health care overhaul and Planned Parenthood, which offers abortions. And I've done a video on that. The amendment to cut off the Family Planning Agency drew angry rebukes from the left, including former House Speaker Nancy Piglosi. This is a very dangerous situation for the health, the reproductive health, of women across our nation, said Piglosi. Perhaps we have uh, a lesson in the birds and the bees around here for the Republicans to understand that. The budget would also trigger massive cuts in programs affecting education, the environment, and science. The Peace Corps budget would be slashed by 20%. And the maximum Pell College tuition grant would be trimmed by 15%. <clears throat> the Social Security Administration said it would have to furlough employees while foreign aid programs that fight AIDS, malaria, and hunger were cut by 40%. The last federal government shutdown was sparked by a budget battle between President Clinton and then House Speaker Newt Gingrich. Gingrich, who led a majority of young Republicans, much like the current House, swept into power during the 1994 midterm elections and pledged to dramatically shrink the size of the federal government. The stalemate led to Washington going dark for nearly three weeks, starting that December. During the shutdown, public opinion sided with Clinton, and many political observers said his performance during the crisis was a key factor in his re-election the following year. Well, let's not give old bummer a chance. All I got to say. Something to think about, folks. Peace.